Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'm sharing the December 10th reveal and also a card using Spellbinder's Crafty Advent Calendar. And I'm not actually showing opening the box since my day 10 had some other dies mixed in along with this set. So here's a look at the December 10th goodie. It's a little floral die set. And you may recognize the images. They match the images on the stamp set that was in, I believe, the December 2nd box. So now you can create a similar card using the stamps and the dies. Both of them are really fun, but I think I prefer the dies. I'll only be sharing a few process videos using the Crafty Advent Calendar simply because December is already so busy. But I have been sharing all of the cards on social media and I'll also do a recap over on my blog. So if you've missed some of the cards, you can head over there and check it out. I have a link in the description box or you can simply head over to christymarcott.com. For today's card, the pattern paper is from Spellbinder's Time Offline Paper Pad. It was included in their November 2022 kit. I selected a couple of my favorite patterns, this pretty plaid and also a tone-on-tone -tone pink design. I'll layer both of those on some dark teal cardstock. Then I'll add a narrow strip of the teal cardstock. I think this is about an inch wide. Put my card front onto a card base, leaving eighth of an inch of the white card base showing. Next, I'll add a postage square die cut. And this is from Spellbinder's Postage Edge Square Die Set. It includes the postage edge dies and also the inside piece with the pierce detail along the edge. I'll adhere both of those pieces together using some liquid adhesive, then adhere it toward the top of my card. Now I can start working on the beautiful floral arrangement. And I cut out all of these pieces from some teals, pinks, and green for the leaves. I thought about doing the same pattern that I used with the stamp set, but decided to do something completely different. For a little extra detail, I used some pearlescent cardstock for the small pink flowers and also the single green leaves. So once I've glued together all of those floral pieces, I can start adding them to my card. I'll start with the branches and those tiny pink flowers and also the small single green leaves glue all of those down using liquid adhesive. I'm adding two of the small branches with the little pink flowers on the left side of the card, one of those on the right side. I am putting foam dimension on the back of the three larger flowers, and I'll adhere those down before adding the small single leaves. The largest flower will be in front, and the smaller two flowers, I'll tuck them just slightly underneath that large flower. Now I can add those last three leaves, put one of them on the right and two in the lower left-hand corner. And for the final two, I did trim off the stem since it was sticking out a little further than I wanted it to. And since it's being tucked underneath the flower, you can't really see it anyway. Next, I'll add the sentiment for you. And this is from Spellbinder's Smooth Lines Mix and Match Sentiments. I cut it out from some white shimmer cardstock and I use liquid adhesive to adhere it underneath the floral arrangement. I'll start with the word you since it's all one piece. Glue that down, then I'll add the OR from the word for, and then finally the capital F for the word for. For a final finishing touch, I'll add a few gem stickers from Spellbinders. This is their silver mix, and I'll add three of them around my floral arrangement. So there is my finished card. I love how this one turned out. The colors are so pretty together. And once again, my daughter decided to play along with me using the advent calendar goodies. And here's the beautiful card she created. I love how the purple, blue, and white really pops against that dark charcoal and black background. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.